Revelation 2237 From the 17th of February 1942 Soul Work Self-Conquest The more undaunted the human being works on himself the more successful his striving will be for then he will have the serious will towards God and this will also result in the application of strength which again guarantees spiritual progress. The work of the soul requires overcoming oneself, and therefore it can only be achieved if the human being constantly practices self-denial. What is beneficial for the soul will always mean a renunciation or a sacrifice for the body and therefore a strong will is needed which is more devoted to its soul than to the body. Spiritual success can only be achieved by putting the body aside, and this is precisely what people find so difficult, for the body will always push itself forward with its desire, whereas the soul usually has to be content if the human being's will gives it scant consideration and therefore the soul can only progress in development when it is considered more than the body. Thus the human being cannot do enough in caring for his soul, he must constantly practice love, and this will then also result in wisdom. Recognition. Dot and as soon as the human being recognizes, he cannot help but submit himself to divine will, thus he has to do what is beneficial for his soul. Anyone who only strives to fulfill God's will will also have divine will revealed to him, and then he will willingly separate himself from matter, from the goods of the world, and consequently he will also pay no attention to what pleases the body, and he will only ever be intent on gathering spiritual possessions, for earthly goods will no longer appear appealing to him. And this is only the blessed state for humanity that it disregards the world and its goods and turns to spiritual experience. Then people will think, hear and look differently, that is always thinking of their souls, and only this is spiritual progress, which is based on a certain renunciation, on self-conquest, on an inner struggle against that which is part of the adversary. And anyone who seriously strives towards God gladly and joyfully gives up what is of use to his body, for he exchanges something more valuable for it. An increased degree of maturity of the soul. Amen.